Hi, my name is Michaela. I am here to explain to you a couple of the common mistakes when composing for harp. Uh, the reason that I wanted to make this video is because lots of people aren't familiar with how the harp works and there's just a few basic things that you can avoid to make it a lot easier for a harpist to play the thing that you're composing. So, the first one I'm going to talk about is the pedals. This is something that can cause a lot of problems, but if you know what you're doing, you can navigate it pretty well. So I'm going to show you the pedals here on my harp. This is a pedal grand. I'm sorry, a concert grand. Um, so it is a pedal harp. There are other types of harps, like folk harps and liver harps. I'm not going to go over those right now. I'm just talking about pedal harps. So as you can see here, I have seven pedals. And I hope you can see them all down there. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The reason I have seven is because there are seven notes in a scale, right? If we exclude um, the repeated do. So there's one for each note on the harp. Uh, and I'm gonna use a comparison to piano because that's something most people are pretty familiar with um, to make it a little easier to understand. So my notes are my pedals, these are the names of my pedals. I have D, C, B. This is on the left side. I know it may um, be reversed on my video, but the left side is D, C, B. And then the right side is E, F, G, and A. <laughs> I'm kind of far away from my heart right now, which is why that's hard to reach, but usually it's not a problem. So, um, as you can see, I hope you got a good glimpse of it. There's I can't reach all of the notes, all of the pedals, with both feet. So I use my right foot for the four on the right, which like I said are E, F, G, and A. I use my left foot for the pedals on the left, which are D, C, and B. So why is that important? Because my right foot can only move one pedal at a time, and my left foot can only move one pedal at a time. So keep that in mind. I'm going to explain a little more about what pedals do, but keep that in mind. I'll come back to it. So what does a pedal do? Uh, a pedal is what makes the harp able to be chromatic. So right now my harp is actually in C flat, which will make sense to you in a minute. Um, so it's just C, and you see I played every single... I played every single note, every single string that was in that uh, scale, and it was just a major scale. So you might ask yourself, well, what's missing here? There's no half steps, like how can I have different chord keys? How can I have um, basically just any chromatic whatever I want? Well, that's where the pedals come in. So if you see this mechanism up here, um, when you change and it might be hard to see because I know it's tiny. Let me see if I can zoom in for you. When you change a pedal, it changes what's up there. See that tiny little wheel that's turning? So that's my F pedal. You can see because it's on the F string, which is the black ones. Um, and you can see this little thing turning up there as I turn, as I change my pedal. Kind of hard to see, but... That might help you visualize it. So that's actually pinching the string to make it shorter or longer, which um, introduces my half steps. So that's how I get natural, flat, and sharp. So each pedal has all three of those, natural, flat, and sharp. So that means each note can be in each th on, on all three of those. So here's my F flat, my F natural, and my F sharp. So as I change my pedals, I can change my keys, I can do accidentals, I can do pretty much anything. Except, <laughs> here's the rules. Um, when I change one pedal, it changes every one of that note on the harp. So I'm still my F. Here's my F. Right now it's, right now it's F natural. When I change, now it's F sharp. So, um... That changed all of them, which means that I cannot play an F natural and an F sharp, even if they're in different oct octaves at the same time, unless you use an harmonics, which you totally can do. Just don't get, <laughs> you just have to be careful, right, that you don't end up duplicating a different 
um, pedal in an incorrect way, if that makes sense. So that's the first thing to avoid. Um, you don't want to have, you can, it's impossible to have two diff, play two of the same string in different pedal configurations at the same time. Um, I can change my pedals pretty quickly. Most harpists can do it in like a beat, depending on how fast that beat is. But just imagine how fastly, how quickly you could move your foot from one pedal to another. They're only like two inches apart, so it doesn't take very long. But um, on top of that, I can also change up to two pedals at one time. But they have to be left foot and right foot. So my right foot can't change two pedals at one time. My, it could be my left foot changes one and my right foot changes one. So I'm going to repeat it. The ones on the left are D, C, and B. The ones on the right are E, F, G, A. So, for example, I could change my F and my C at the same time. For example, strange pedal configuration, so it doesn't sound very good right now. But I could change them at the same time and in a very short amount of time. So that's something you can do. Just keep in mind that you're not asking the right foot to change two pedals at the same time. That would be very confusing. Now, um, the pedals actually make for some really fun things that you can do with the harp. Uh, for example, you can do a pedal buzz. Sounds very terrible, but some people like to do it in their more contemporary writing. Um, you can also do some really fun and harmonic things. So if you think about it, I just changed, right now my pedal configuration is I have D flat, C flat, B natural, which let's remember is the same as C flat, right? Uh, and then I have E natural, F flat, which are also the same. And then I've just got G flat and A flat. So if you do a glissando this way, it sounds really cool. Super fun, right? And you can mess around with that. There's a few other configurations you can use. Um, if you want to do that, you have to notate it with a pedal chart. I'm not going to go into that right now because you don't need to use pedal charts. Most harpists can write them in for themselves. But uh, if you do want to do some funky things with it, you can look into it. Or you can just spell out the configuration you want. So you can actually write out, um, like, what it is right now is D flat, C flat, B natural, and then probably on the next line underneath it, this is just text, you would write um, E natural, F flat, G flat, A flat. And so if you put that before a gliss, then um, your harpist will know that that's what the pedal configuration should be. So that's one way to do it. Another configuration, another uh, notation note is that if you do want to do the two, two of the same note at the same time with different accidentals, you can if you use enharmonics, depending on the note, obviously. Um, so, for example, right now, this is just an E. This is also acting as an E. So, let's say that I need um, an E at the same time I play an E flat. Well, that's okay because I can play an F as an E because it's an F flat on my pedals and I have an E flat at the same time. So you can do that, you just have to be careful, um, but there are some fun and harmonic tricks. Really quickly, I'm just gonna go over a few fun things you can do on the harp. I know this is a long video, I hope you're getting what you need out of it. Um, one of my favorite things that you can do is you can strum it like a guitar. So I put it back into C flat just to be easy. And, oh, the reason why I'm using C flat is because there's three notches for the pedal to go in. One, two, three. The top one is flat. The middle is natural. The bottom is sharp. Uh, flat is where both of these discs are open and they're not pinching the string. So harpists usually leave their harp in flat when they're not playing it to avoid extra tension on the string. So that's, as funny as it seems, C flat is kind of like a standard to some degree in the harpist world. Um, so, yeah, so I'll just 
say quickly, one of my favorite things to do on the harp is strumming like a guitar. Um, so if I was going to do C major, all you have to do is cover everything that's not in C, the chord, and then maybe make a few enharmonics. Like I'm going to make my B into a B flat. So it's the same as my C. Like I said, I'm C flat. But, and then you just touch all the ones strongly that aren't working, that you don't want to be playing. And then you actually just strum like a guitar. So it sounds kind of like ukulele. Um, anyway, that's kind of fun. There's a few other fun things that you can do. The harp is a really fun instrument that you can get pretty creative with if you know what you're doing. So I hope this video has been helpful, and happy composing.